Okay, they're here. Uh, welcome to OHNL, Occupy Honolulu. And uh, as you see, they're driving in. They're making their point. They're going to each of the entrances <laughs> into the park to try and block it off and, you know, do what they feel like they think they need to do. Uh, this isn't the whole crew, of course. We have a whole crew down down the street there you can't see that's sitting in a parking lot. And, uh, but right now we got four uh, park officials, vehicles here, and we're just waiting for the PD and everyone else. Oh, here they are. They're coming up on the roadway <laughs> on the back side of it. <laughs> And, uh, he's leaving his stuff open yet again. What? Dan. He just put stuff in that tent with a stand right there and left his tent open. On purpose. But anyhow, so you can see we got uh, now, yeah, the four vehicles here. We have one, two, three, four, five city vehicles. Our dump truck is finally showing up. And, uh, yeah, well, our raid, uh, I believe is actually raid 36, 35, maybe 36. What's up, man? Not much. much. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> danger, danger, Will Robinson. Going to the tree? Yeah. Okay. You can be fine just off of Huh? You can be fine just off Oh, you did? Yeah, so. Cool. Probably, uh. You can be fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll give you a bottle. Alright, thank you. Huh? I don't know. Well, the one is a park, the one guy in the checkered shirt, he actually works for the park department. So does she. So, maybe these are park officials, but... We just have to get our personal items out of our tent. Mm -hmm. Our tents are personal items. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, they got the crane out. You know, they got the dump trucks. They got... Yeah, there's the dump truck. Why it's way down there, I don't understand, but... <laughs> oh, we got more uh, vehicles showing up down that way. Yeah, they're surrounding the whole freaking park, but whatever. They do what they do. We'll soon find out if uh, they got plans doing something crazy, stupid, or against the law. Huh? What about this guitar and everything in that shirt? Alright. Here. I'm going to save this guitar. Take it. Hold this. Okay, I'll be back up.
How much you bucks a fish alone? You can't eat. Thank you. Just look so down. Yeah. Okay, I'm back, guys. I had to save an occupier's stuff for whatever reason. Things went weird. Not too exciting so far. They're all kind of assessing the situation and uh, taking a look at all the equipment and tents. And what they do is they tape it all off, don't allow anybody into their areas. Everybody else gets to ride their bicycles and walk through. Just saying. See it all the time. And they got the bulldozer ready. Bulldozer is actually running. <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> what does that mean? Is this another nightmare before Christmas? Is the mirror going to flip his head around? <laughs> the what? Yep. So I was, I, but there's nothing concrete. Man. There was nothing concrete. You can refuse unjust orders. What's up, man? How's it going? Alright. Can I test that um, you come down from the wall? Can I be on the wall? Sorry about that. So how you been? Everything cool? Cool. Well, he wasn't allowed to ride the bike before, so now he's walking it. <laughs> okay, I guess I've... Did you the last time that that wasn't taking place? I've been hurting. Yeah. Thank you very much. What's up, man? Guys. They were taking off premises. Straight up. What we have a car. Yeah. We have <laughs> Ignorance. What is the evidence of them being No, 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 guys. Come on. The items have been removed. They have no right to take. We support that law. They can't break the Come on, law. guys. You can do it. I know you can. Do you you really want to be a part of thievery. There is no evidence that items were not removed. They were removed. Come on. Don't do this, guys. You can refuse unjust orders. Those items have been removed and are not allowed to be taken. They are not taxed. You learned this the last time. Come on. Nobody wanted to help. They all wanted to sit down and talk. 
No, I mean, I'll talk to you later. The items are being removed every day. Do not take the tents, guys. You're stealing. You're this stealing. is unlawful. Come on. This is unlawful. You are breaking your We home are home. in compliance of Bill 54. This is an unlawful seizure. The items have been removed from camp that were tagged yesterday. Please enforce the law. So we're on like day 300 and like 11 or something for the occupation. Uh, I believe it's day 277 for uh, the encampments and We've been through like 35 action. raids and approximately 38 tagging raids, so combined total, I don't know get, if anybody can add that up, is like 70, oh uh, what, oh my god, this I can't even think anymore, <laughs> so like 35, 36, BFM like is breaking the law, do not allow them to do it! At like 75 or so something guys, like that total rates if you want to include tagging and compensation rates. Officer. Um, yeah, this is a normal thing that Officer, we see. These items are being removed illegally. We have proof that the items were removed. Do not let DFM break the law. BFM is breaking the law! Arrest him! <laughs> about the law! Who do you call when the city is stealing your stuff? The items were in fact removed! This is an unlawful action! Enforce the law! Who do you protect? Who do you serve? City employees are breaking the law under your watch! Stop them! This is an illegal action! Do not allow DFM to break the law! They are not above the law! They are stealing! The items were in fact removed! We have proof of it! Stop them! Please you cannot allow why. them to take this action really under speculation! They are we have concrete proof! Actually, I mean, I don't know, do we want to bring that up? Because <laughs> otherwise, what proof are we going to show? I said, yes, we have concrete proof, but do you want to actually show that concrete proof? Okay, so maybe we should ask for an officer to escort us down to the vehicle. Officer! Because it's stored in the vehicle. They said we didn't remove it, but it's sitting in the vehicle right now, right? Yeah, yeah that's the public, it's, it's in his car on the street. Officer, we can go and show you right now that the items were removed. Do not allow DFM to do this. How do we get you to enforce the law? We can show you right now. Please do not refuse. Officer, you can refuse on the order. Do your job. BFM is lying to you. Do not allow them to do it. You are not above the law. This is an illegal action. You are breaking Do not the law. allow DFM to break the law. You are stealing! You How do you sleep at night? BFM is nothing but criminals and thieves! Do not allow them to do it under your watch! You are doing this for a paycheck? You are just hired thieves! <laughs> this is an illegal action! Stop them! You are the only 
enforcers of the law. I suggest you start doing it. They say is they have proof that uh, the stuff wasn't actually being removed from this area. We have a vehicle that's on the other side of the park filled with all the stuff that was here. This is all other stuff that was placed. And, uh... Hey, look at it. They're saving my chair so I can retrieve my chair. <laughs> this is an illegal action! I figured for sure they'd throw that out. <laughs> Where do you stop? Do you hold? Do you see it? When they actually put us in FEMA camps, I think that's probably when the line will be drawn. Until yeah. then, it's just harassment. This is an illegal <laughs> action! DFM is breaking the law! And you are letting them do it! This is your job to stop me! I was told from this morning that you guys are worried about stealing all our stuff instead instead of finding actual criminals who are stealing valuable items. Hmm. Instead of actually finding the problem and finding the, the criminals, you are here stealing our stuff. You and sure, letting them do it. You sure it was stolen and not confiscated by the police? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You might want to check with the police. Mic check! Mic check! Mic check! Would you? You just told me, hold on. Where? Uh, where? That skinny dude. You don't know Santos by now. Oh, that's Santos. Yeah, that's Santos. I thought you were the skinny dude that was walking over. Santos. This is a Do you guys have hearts? <laughs> You can stop this at any time! It is your decision to refuse unjust orders! You are stealing from people who are trying to make it better! We are all on the same side! May I ask a question of one of the officers on duty? I'm raising my hand. I'm being nice. Are you going to ignore us? I just have one simple question. Officer, do we not... To have our questions answered. Hey, get the rubbish. Get the rubbish. Get the rubbish. Going by Officer Santos. Let me let me try. Officer Santos, may I ask a real quick question? Well, actually, I think it's pertinent for you to answer now, please. Especially for your action.
Oh, my phone's being used for Ustream, so I'm sure other people have phones. Can I ask a real quick question? I'm not going to hound or anything. It's just real quick, man. Seriously. Um, is there... I know you guys are all busy, but is there one officer, since obviously no one's crossing the line or doing anything, that would be able to go with me so I could show where we store our stuff? It's literally on the other side of this park in a vehicle. Okay, thank you. This officer Santos is going to walk up and uh, talk to me. What's up, partner? Yeah, um... I'll talk to you, but you turn off your camera. Oh, yeah, I'll just point it away. Turn off your camera. What do you mean turn off my camera? I'm allowed to talk to you. It's just a simple question, man. Then I'll just walk away. Wait, you're going to refuse to talk? Then what? I have an officer that's able to, what, what to do you speak want? with what do you me. Want to know? Oh, uh, we have a vehicle that's down here that actually is storing all our property that she's laying claim that we're not, that we're storing stuff here. And I want to be able to just have, just one officer, I'm, I know you guys are busy, I'm not asking you to stop your yeah. your thing, but I want an officer to be able to walk out and witness that we actually do store all the stuff that she's claiming that she's I, had. I before I came. Okay, the so, right there, right? yeah, all the so, the exactly, so how, where is she making her claim from, I mean? I have no idea. Okay, and no one's a a asking that when it's no out? One, no one's asking you to go to your car. No one's going to tell you to take your stuff out of your car. If you moved it prior, great. No, oh, the, the, she, it, so she, this stuff, this stuff that was said. That's that. It, it's your dispute or your concern with DFM and, and, and um, Ms. Mori Collins. That's not the police. So you're here to protect okay. the, the peace. You stand by and keep the peace. The dispute or the disagreement or the confusion between you guys and them, that's totally your guys. So and, and them, okay. Yeah, they okay. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, I, I got it on. It is recorded. So, we have his stance on it. You can justify and rationalize it however you would like, but this is theft at its base core. It is corruption and disgusting. You see what just happened is that's what I was saying when Chris was That was an saying, interesting tactic though, to say, look, all of the rest of our stuff is over there in that car. Why would I mean granted I know they knew they're not you right. know, totally stupid. But it's now on camera about it. That's what I wanted. I wanted at least recording. Um, that, but that answers the question of why she was actually walking through the park, because they're investigating what's actually going on. So now that we have proof that the officer actually has knowledge that we're removing our stuff. You, you get where I'm getting at? Yeah. That's why I wanted to talk like that. That's why I wanted to make sure I had that. I just kind of wanted to leave the car just out of it. It's okay. It's already, they already but it's yeah, but it, yeah, makes it makes a point. It makes a point, you know, in the process. That they acknowledge that it has been off the right. camera. Yeah. That was interesting, huh? The condition was, oh, it's turned the camera on. Why was that? Why didn't it turn the camera on? Right, right, right. You see, also, if you notice, you know, I, I gave him the happy median of pulling the camera away so it was pointing at him, but the mic was pointed straight at him. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I got everything on camera. You know, it's all recorded. This is the conversation. It watches him walking up. So we, 
we have an officer that now is actually saying that he knows that we're removing the items. Sure, if you got the money. Right. <laughs> yeah, the only thing you could do is either get arrested and make it go in the court, or but then you'll be arrested. You'll be fighting for what you arrest for and trying to make the case out of the one. No, 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 no. I'm just playing. <laughs> because it's a, it, it, it doesn't guarantee that you're actually going to be make, able to make the case about this into the court. You know, but that's yeah. it's a tactic that you could try, and then um, or actually just do it legally with the lawyer. So far for Carlisle's claim for the bulldoze through everything, though, the only thing that it did was dump one thing, right? <laughs> so, a broken chair. Yeah, a broken chair. Yeah, so he dumped a broken chair and spent how much money to dump a broken chair for something that somebody could have just thrown over into the thing? Yeah, Carlisle, you're great. Yeah, you're great. You don't hold up to what you promise and you uh, just blow people's money left and right. You're awesome. Thanks for making this... <laughs> <laughs> Just reach three quarters of a million plus. Go Carlisle! <laughs> Go Carlisle! Glad you're be out of office soon. <laughs> Go Chief! Lie to the public and then spend their money on top of it. That's great, Carlisle. You have the right to refuse! But nobody forget, Tulsi Gabbard is the one that has ha made this happen. And those of you that think this is a good thing, think of what she could do in the House of Representatives. Yes. Thank you. Uh, well, I don't know about that. Wait a minute. Uh, you know, as individually, people may. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are stealing expressive content! You are stealing signs and expressive content! Are they taking our time? Yeah. Are you gonna cut down that plant sale sign or no? I doubt it. But Tulsi Gabbard uh, designed uh, Bill 54, which is 11 029. That's what allows uh, all this activity to go on to steal and beat for the houseless. Um, she's going to our House of Representatives, so when she has more power to be able to do this to even more citizens, let's think about this. The Aloha State, with an individual that allows the theft and beating of its citizens for their personal belongings. Does she really have everybody's uh, intents in mind? Uh, you know, and then you have Carlisle that threatens to uh, use a bulldozer. Well, he's using a bulldozer, but he used a bulldozer for a broken chair. An excess of funds was needed to throw away a broken chair when we have all these city officials that's all around and police officers. As you see, he's throwing a, a board away, and he's using the bulldozer for a symbol of his authority for a piece of wood. That, that's great, right, guys? Did you see that? It was only a piece of wood. That's how much he's willing to stake his name in the claims that he made during a mayor debate. He said he was going to bulldoze through Occupy, and he called all the houseless and all the citizens uh, that's on the streets, uh, Occupy, he called them rats, and said he's going to bulldoze through. Well, this is his version of bulldozing. It's nowhere near what he's talking about, and he just blew taxpayers' money to throw a piece of wood away. <laughs> so, yeah. So all the excess funds that could be solving the problem to get people off the street, we could thank Carlisle and Tulsi Gabbard for their efforts in not addressing what the public actually wanted, and that was to make cleaner and safer streets and be more, more humane towards the citizens of the community. They decided to attack them with uh, violence. They decided to segregate them from the rest of society. They decided to steal their items from them because it's all about personal property and not about the people and citizens of the community and 
this uh, city and county. Something to think about while you guys are voting. This isn't going to do anything. You want to get closer as they're taking their shit because they're about to. I will. It hasn't worked for 276 other days. You don't think we're going to just pick up and leave now, do you? Let's help the homeless by putting them in crisis. Steal their stuff and give them nothing. That'll help. You only want a paycheck. You realize getting that paycheck is hurting you, society, your family, and your future more than... <laughs> he lost it. <laughs> Joining us will help your future more than this tiny paycheck will. Just start singing some it NWA or something. I don't know. Illegal. Anybody want to sing a Bob Marley that song? That is expressive content! <laughs> you cannot take that! That is expressive content! That is protected by the First Amendment! Expressive content is allowed to stay! Technically, all of it's allowed to stay, actually. I really like the light on top of the bulldozer. It's given this, like, when I catch it just right, it just flashes like this portion of the screen. It looks like a techno club on my freaking iPhone here. It's no, I lost it though. It's not there no more. Where did it go? <laughs> this is a big flash. <laughs> it's like <laughs> illegal. You have no authority. They're compensated for the tiny paycheck. You can't. <laughs> you can't. Have your false information. Oh man. We have proof that the items were removed. Well, as you see, the local police department has wiped their hands clean. They they don't want to enforce anything besides other laws like uh, this gentleman here. He got a citation for uh, a bullhorn. <laughs> amplified uh, sound in the park. Yeah, amplified sound in the park. It, it It's something that we've been using for many, many months. But this guy had a chip on his shoulder and just wanted to start stuff. And then, uh, you know, various people here has gotten different sites and arrests and... You know, just real screwed up stuff over the stupidest things. This but it's like, whatever. Who are you? you have no right. The items were removed and you know it. Where are you going to draw your line? When we're in the fascist FEMA camps and the concentration camps of America? Right now you are stealing from people who are trying to help. That is fascism. You are supporting the big corporations who are stealing your money, my money, our money. Let's not forget about President Obama that signed the NDAA here in Hawaii. They steal your rights as well, <laughs> the NDAA. We are potentially risking our lives out here trying to speak the truth. And you guys seem to think this is just a joke, just a little homeless camp. There's something deeper going on! Don't forget to tell your senators to end the Fed by auditing them. Because <laughs> the HR 459 was passed with three quarters of the vote, we need to get that for the Senate. Make sure you contact all your local senators and your, uh, your uh, U.S. senators and make sure that they understand that you want to be represented in auditing the Federal Reserve. How many people could you pay? How many meals could you create? How this is what a capitalist society does. It has to create debt for you to be able to make money. And the more money these people are spending of taxpayers' money, the more debt is created, which, which in turn makes the Federal Reserve have to print more money, making our dollar worth less. Our dollar is currently four cents in worth compared to what it was in 1913 when we decided to start the... Uh, uh, fractional banking system that was unsupported by uh, a gold standard. It was well, finally abolished in the uh, 70s completely where there was still some fra fraction of uh, gold and silver. Now there's none and this is what we have. So uh, 
If you care about your community, you need to care about the individuals within the community. Houseless or not, they're still part of the community. And uh, Mayor Carlisle and Tulsa Gabbard has went out of their way to create such things like this. Okay, so again, Mayor Carlisle and Tulsi Gabber, uh, this is what they've uh, done. We're getting a nice close-up view of what they do. They go through people's personal belongings. First off, you got to understand that a law needs to be committed, or a law needs to be broken for them to commit entry into uh, a person's place or home. And uh, so this is an illegal search and seizure. There, this individual didn't break any laws. We're talking about a city ordinance of storage. And uh, the, there was nothing that was able to identify saying that this was illegally being stored since the person changed it out just yesterday. It takes 24 hours for them to be able to do something. So now that they've uh, entered into something that wasn't here for 24 hours, they are illegally searched and seizure, and not by the police officers. They're doing it by city officials that uh, repair streets. These are re street repairmen has no that has taken the leadership of authority to uh, steal people's items. Yeah, luckily we will be here to help them. But the homeless people have nowhere to go. If a place has a crisis to help them, that's not helpful. This action is illegal. Thank you, Tulsi Gebber and Mayor Carlisle, for being such a patron and a representative did you come to work today? Authority to figure for your uh, citizens and citizens' rights. These are the type of people that create uh, laws know, like the NDAA that our president has signed to throw people indefinitely, without trial, in detention in a camp like uh, Nazi Germany. So. Think about what you're voting for this year. This is what's been created in just a few years' time. The capitalist society is no longer working for its citizens. It's a corporate greed entity. That's all they worry about. This is a person's home and his own ways of survival. There's nothing else that this person is able to do. This, this city here has offered no other means for help or any other means to do anything about this. We have 6,000 people that's houseless on the island, only 2,000 beds available for them. That means 4,000 people, no matter what they do, no matter what the city wants to suggest that they do for people, medicine? they come along, beat them, and steal their items. And our police force stands up for this. Law of the Splinter so they medication and put it in the bag. What Law of the Splinter Paddle says that it's illegal for them to do anything to an individual or property. Uh, of any sort on the side of the road, you know, by the roadside. This is exactly where this person is. This is in the state constitution. They not only break they civil laws, they're breaking the state, the state constitution. By breaking the state constitution, they're actually going against their federal constitution. Yes, they are. This is not you're correct in any means. You, guys. you don't know what that stuff is and why he needs it. You cannot allow that to take place. Yeah, we, we you cannot that. allow them to take medication. You cannot do that. So they're stealing a person's medication. This individual has actual health needs that the city doesn't want to address or help him with. That's part of the reason why he's on the road. 
and uh, with this medication, they're going to take it from him and in je jeopardize his life. This is medication. Mayor Carlisle, Tulsi Gabbard, thank you very much. They're putting people's lives in jeopardy. Uh, Trish Morikawa, wherever she is, she actually was quoted saying that she helps the houseless or the homeless is what she puts it at. She doesn't understand that people have a home here in Hawaii. They just don't have a house. But she actually is quoted saying that she helps people by putting them in crisis, which is the very same theory that was used for the Spanish Inquisition. Uh, we've also seen history with that in the uh, Chinese uh, history. You know, when someone is getting beaten down ten times a day, you know, ten punches in the face a day, and then, and then one day the guy walks in and says, I'm, all, I'm in a good mood, I'm only going to hit you five times, and the, and the gentleman that's being beat says, thank you, thank you for being so nice. That's the society that they create. So, Stop them! We're going to steal, they're going to steal their medication, steal their very means of survival, with no actual means of any offer of help or anything towards their their physical needs allow them to do this. or their struggles they that's going on because of the situation that brought them to this road. This guy just lost his home, his personal belongings that helps him survive. And though they may not have committed violence as in actually beating this individual because the individual left the scene because of the type of authority these people place on them and the type of treatment that they do, they uh see right there knowingly guys knowingly that is medication she picked you it up remove it she picked up you the medication seen the type of medication, medication it was and told the gentleman screw it and put it in there anyways so oh, this is disgusting this is fucking disgusting so because you they're are not somebody's medication. Are you going to allow them to put a man's life in jeopardy by taking medication? Are you guys thinking about what you're Come on! Come on! Come on! Well, high school bullies, the difference between them and high school bullies would be that high school bullies doesn't go after your medication and steal your money. They just beat you down and steal your stuff. These people actually do it with the law on their side. A law that's illegal with the state constitution and the federal constitution that says we can run around the island and either beat you or put your life in jeopardy and then uh, steal your items, you know, and you can't do nothing about it. And if you try, that will arrest you. See, that's the difference between them and a high school bully. They've, they've actually upgraded. These people have gotten college educations on how to be bullies. Yes. This is what our... our, our <laughs> Our brick and mortar school system allows is the teaching of how to become more legitimate and more. Uh, you're just doing your what are they doing now? Job. They're, they're trying to stuff so more stuff in there, ruining people's workers. stuff. They were just doing their job. Where do you draw that line? Or do you just hope you catch it before it's too late? Or are we all going to be in FEMA camps before too long and you're going to say, oh, should have drawn the line of stealing their stuff? The gentleman finally decided to show up, and he's he's wanting his medication. And after all the screaming and hollering that's going on about the medication, it looks like they're actually searching for it to try and find it. And as you can see, because of how they dealt with the things and how they did it, they can't find it. They gave him one vial out of all the medication that he had. Did he? Oh, let's take it. Uh huh. We're good. So, uh, yeah. Where do you draw the line? Are you just following orders and doing your job? Do you bring in morality in your heart when you do that? If you have a choice, why are you making this one? Because Thank you, Tulsi Gabbard and Mary Carlisle. what you're fighting for, guys. Check out what's going on. Be curious and do some research. Tulsi Gabbard has just committed a heinous crime against veterans.
her citizens, people that fight and live for the environment. She says, and a lot of associations, a lot of groups have given her a lot of money in support of her, but if you believe taking your veterans' lives, uh, people that fight for the environment, people that is part of the community as a citizen, people that pay taxes should be treated in this way, what are you standing up for? What are you saying about your own, uh, your own group? I don't, I don't understand how the veterans could feel that Tulsi Gabbard is fighting for them. You are celebrating she's doing this. Items? Tulsi Gabbard, or not Tulsi, sorry, but Tulsi Trish is now leaving after she just carried out her last order of uh, creating Christless crisis to help people. And as you see, with this load, Shame. all these city Shame. officials was unable Shame. to take that little bit. Shame! 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 All these, Shame. All these city officials Shame. was unable to Shame. take that and throw it Shame. in the back of the truck. Shame. And, uh, Shame. yeah. Shame. That's what, Shame. that, Shame. Shame. That's what uh, Mayor Carlisle says is needed. To spend all this money and time, use all these individuals and uh, equipment to uh, steal and beat on the houseless. Veterans. People that live and work for the environment. People that is part of this community as citizens, as taxpayers, as, you know, people with health and... Uh, uh, health needs, like physical and mental health needs. This is what they say. This is their answer to those types of citizens. You take thousands of citizens on this island that has no other answer and the city refuses to give an answer to and uh, they just say, screw it, we'll beat and steal from you. And it's the exact situation they created the NDAA. These are the same people that voted and said this is what we want to indefinitely detain people in a camp without trial, without even knowledge of knowing why you're even there, just because they don't like you, because of differences in class, differences in race, differences in culture, heritage, or even backgrounds. They don't, they don't care. It's, you have to be rich. You have to be in four walls. You have to be... You know, whatever. They don't want, they don't care about uh, being a veteran or anything. They, all they care about is that you're able to pay them off. And that's what it comes down to. And Trish Morikawa, with a lawyer degree, a law degree, stating that she only helps them with through crisis, makes you have to wonder what kind of people is representing Hawaii. The people of Hawaii wants this situation solved. I don't believe the people of Hawaii thoroughly thought out that, or even believed that their own representatives would go out of their way to beat and steal from the citizens like they do here. I would truly hope that most people thought clearly enough to think that this is their friends, their family, their brothers, their sisters, their neighbors, and that you would want dignity and peaceful means to address the situation that would help the whole community as a whole instead of hinder it and create more people to be on the streets. This doesn't solve a problem. This only makes the problem worse. It causes death. It causes harm. It causes more mental instability. This is wrong. And people, when you're voting, you need to think about this. Think about who's actually representing you. The rail project is a big project, but it has nothing compared to what they're doing to the people of this community. This is your friends, your family, your neighbors. One day your neighbor is going to end up on the street and you're going to have to know that this guy that you lived by for 20 years or your own family member that you knew for 30, 40, 50 years is getting beaten on. He's getting their stuff, his, having their stuff for survival stolen from because the city refuses to address the situation humanely.
That's okay. We'll still be here, and we're not going anywhere. We're strong. We're educated. We, we work. We go to school, and, uh, you know, we got this. So, those of you that think this is such a good thing, to have your civil rights, your your Bill of Rights, and the both the state and national constitutions all violated, well, sorry to say, we're still going to be here. And until you figure out that maybe there is a better way of solving this issue, we're still going to be here. So, think about how this is being done. Has uh, 35, 36 raids actually solved an issue on Thomas Square? No. Is this issue going to still be here? Yes. Why is that? Because the politicians that's running the show is not representing its citizens and doing things like they should for their friends, neighbors, and families. There's physical and health needs that need to be addressed. There's job location. There's housing location. You know, some of these people can afford a house if they can find something that's affordable within the means of the income that they have. And those of you that want to say, well, then get a better job. Find it for them. That's called job location. It's an easy thing. It doesn't cost anywhere near as much as it does to fight Thomas Square with millions of dollars just to find someone a better job that's able to find them affordable housing. Let's, let's be real about it, guys. You asked for Tulsi Gabbard to address the situation, and she brought you violence. You asked Mayor Carlisle to do something, and he boasts that they're all rats and that he's going to bring a bulldozer through. For what purpose? For violence. It's a capitalist society. I, I love capitalism. I'm not against it. But our capitalist society has become a crony capitalist society. It is not exactly what it was supposed to be. It's about the corporation. It's about products. It's about personal items. It's about money. It has nothing to do about civilization itself. And if you don't believe me, Take a, look at, take a look at this video again. Wonder why is the city spending almost a million dollars to fight a small little group instead of just finding someone a better job? Why is someone spending almost a million dollars instead of addressing physical and mental needs? Job location, cheapest thing in the world to be able to do something about. Job location will create a housing location that the city wouldn't have to pay for. But this is what they do instead. They spend your money for no reason. Think about it when you vote. Talk to you guys later. Bye.